Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Phoenix, welcome to the channel, and this is the Stowe News. So, up first what we have is the Mirror Universe is coming back for PC uh, players. So, starting on May 10th, uh, they will be having the event start, and it ends on May 31st. And so, in that time, if you collect 14 multi-dimensional transporters, uh, you can get... Uh, Five, for, sorry, 50,000 Dilithium or 500 Fleet Marks, 250 Marks of your choice. And a brand new unique weapon, the Agony Phaser Energy Torpedo Launcher. That is a mouthful. Now, uh, I'm actually kind of excited about this because I was kind of looking to see if there was uh, a, a phaser type torpedo uh, that I could use with my phaser type builds. And now I see that there is one, so I'm most definitely going to be grinding out for this. Uh, so this is something that uh, I'm actually looking forward to, so I think this will be fun. So for all you uh, PC players out there, remember May 10th to May 31st, get on every day, do the event, get your Agony Phaser Energy Torpedo Launcher and your 50,000 Dilithium, 500 Fleet Marks, and 250 Marks of your choice. So with that, let's move on. All right, so the big news that dropped today was the Gamma Task Force Reputation. We all knew there was going to be a reputation, but uh, they finally released it. it. As you can see here, they're showing the uh, the armor of uh, of what uh, they are, are going to be coming out with. I, I'm going to be honest, it looks pretty badass, to be honest. I, I like it. That's just me. I'm, I'm weird sometimes, so that's my thing. So obviously, uh, you'll... Do the same with any reputation. Um, get the gamma marks uh, through participating in the swarm, a brand new queue that they're coming out with, and the and participating in the gamma quadrant sector battle zone as well. So that's how you're going to get your marks. That's how you're going to uh, get all this stuff. Uh, the premium currency or whatever it is is the germanium. Carpus fragments, which will help, uh, which we will get from the advanced and the elite versions of Swarm Q, um, and completing significant events within the Gamma Quadrant Sector Battle Zone. So uh, those are how you're going to get um, your uh, your items. So for like you know, like your your armor and your ship uh, gear, you know, like your deflector shields, all that stuff. So that's how you're going to get. It. So um, when you get up to there, so the rewards for the, you get the Gamma Team Synergies, the space set four piece. So when you get the Graviton Deflector Array, uh, the Gamma Combat Impulse Engines, the Resilient Shield, and the Overcharged Warp Core or Singularity Core, depending on your faction. Um, so you're gonna get all that stuff here. And uh, so the bonuses are for two piece, you're gonna get uh, to team and self stacks with teammates, plus 10 flight turn rate, plus 10 flight speed. For the three piece uh, for team and self, 10% kinetic damage and 10 accuracy rating. Um, and then for the four piece to team and self stacks with teammates, they're really, really going in with, uh, with teammates in this, um, task force so it's all team based which is nice to see so you get plus 10 sh uh, starship control expertise starship drain expertise five percent maximum hull and shield capacity so that's kind of neat there so task force ordnance so the ground weapon set uh you get uh the ordnance accelerator uh new universal console decreases the shared cooldown of mine launchers as well as making all mine launchers recharge faster in a sorry this is not uh sorry this is not uh ground base this is space uh space uh fuck okay let's start over <clears throat> <clears throat> so in addition to the space set you also have the space weapon set which is this task force ordnance so you get the universal console ordnance accelerator mark 13 uh the Universal Console decreases the shared cooldown for mine launchers as well as making all mine launchers recharge faster. In addition, it provides a significant increase to Polaron energy damage and projectile weapon damage. 
So for those that have a Polaron build or even uh, a torpedo boat, this might be handle, handy. Actually, I think it might be a little more handy for uh, those that do mines and torpedo build boats. Advanced inhibiting chron chroniton projectile weapon. Uh, you get the wide arc torpedo launcher. Uh, so another 180 degree torpedo um, that activates the three piece deep space mine will cause this torpedo launcher to deploy its self replicating minefield near your current target rendering the area ineffectively impassable to your foes for a significant duration. Now this would be totally awesome for those that have torpedo boats. Again, rapid deploy mine launcher uh, designed to for rapid speed deployment. Uh, not only do these mines aren't faster than normal, but they also are deployed in front of your ship. So when armed, they're closer to where you and your action are at. Um, and again, with the deep space mine uh, bonus, we'll get into that in just a moment here. Advanced inhibiting Polaron weapon, the beam array, uh, omnidirectional inhibiting Polaron beam array, uh, obviously fires a 360 degree arc. Um, uh, let's see here, it has the chance to take impulse engines offline uh, and, and, ha and it's been upgraded to leave damage resistance debuff when shooting foes slower than you. The heavy turret, um, which fires again in a 360 degree arc, um, does does pretty much the same thing. Takes off impulse engines or has a chance to take the impulse engines out. And then uh, it's also been upgraded to leave a damage resistant debuff when shooting foes slower than you. So here is the set bonus. So for just two of these, uh, you get the task force tunings uh, you get 10% chroniton projectile weapon damage, 10% polaron energy weapon damage, and 10% flight turn rate. That's pretty good for uh, possibly a uh, escort uh, torpedo boat. So then you have the three-piece deep space mine. This is this is an this is one that you actually have to activate. So when you activate. Uh, the deep space mine upgrades your next attack with an advanced inhibiting chroniton weapon to deploy a self-replicating minefield that lasts for 90 seconds. While active, any mine in that field that is detonated will quickly replace with another mine, ensuring the area stays highly lethal. No shit! That is amazing! Oh, I can imagine the PvP builds for that. Then we have the uh, uh, ground set. So you have the poly... Uh, sorry, poly alloy weave armor, the resilient sh personal shield, and then the Polaron pulse wave. Um, so when you have two of two of the three sets, you get the uh, concerted reinforcements uh, to team and self stacks with teammates. Ten plus ten physical and kinetic damage res resistance rating, ten percent weapon damage, and then you get the concentrated or concerted resilience which is another passive move uh, again stacks with team or self and stacks with the number of teammates you have there plus 10 energy damage resistance rating plus five percent maximum hit points and shield point uh, and shield capacity there's also uh kit modules so the engineering kit module comes with a cloaked mine barrier the science kit comes with a modified uh catcher cell hypo spray and then the tactical mode coordinated synergies. Uh, and then we have traits for tier one ground traits. Strength of mind and strength of body are two separate traits. Uh, Slotting this trait will increase your willpower, grants resistance to control effects. Strength of the body, slotting this trait will grant you the uh, increase to kit performance whenever activated at captain ability, making all of your kit module modules more effective. Uh, activating multiple captain abilities in a short duration will refresh the duration of this buff. Uh, tier 2 is a space trait, hardening sensors and enhanced sensoring. So hardening sensors uh, will increase your resistance rating to control effects, power drain effects, and shield drain effects. Enhancing sensors, uh, what it will do is if... Uh, boost the effectiveness of your drain and control abilities um, activating multiple captain abilities in short duration will refresh this duration and buff uh, of this buff sorry 
Tier 3 is another ground, which is magnified munitions, uh, grants a passive increase to your damage. Strengthening personal shields grants a passive increase to your shield resistance. Uh, and Tier 4, you get the space. Magnifying armament, slotting this trait will grant passive increase to your weapon damage and strengthening shielding, which, uh, which will increase your shield resistance. No determination on what percentage or anything like that. Um, maybe that will come out later when Victory is Life does come out. And ground and tier five ground, one little ship activating this trait will summon a miniaturized uh, Dambu. I can't pronounce this name, I apologize. Run about to fly around and shoot phaser beam arrays at and photon torpedoes at nearby foes for a short duration. That is pretty cool. I like that. All right, so that is the biggest one. And they also dropped a new thing on us just recently. And they are releasing two new ships in the Gamma Vanguard pack. So they are uh, releasing a Jem'Hadar ship and a Cardassian ship. And so. We got the T5 Cardassian Galore Cruiser. Um, now, if I remember correctly, I don't know if this is the same ship. It looks very similar. Um, this would be the same ship that uh, is in the lock in the Cardassian lockbox. So I don't know. Maybe maybe they're gonna make it a little easier to get now. I don't know. I don't know. That might tank the prices of the of the T5 Cardassian Galore class. Uh, vessels. That's something I'm a little worried about, but it does come with a free upgrade to T5U if owned by a 50 plus level character. Um, and then you get a T6 Jem'Hadar Vanguard Carrier. There's no stats on these right now. Um, <clears throat> I would think that the Galore class, um, the only stats that need to be updated is the T5U ones. Uh, so with the Jem'Hadar Vanguard Carrier, uh, this enormous vessel supports the Vanguard fleet by acting as a mobile assault base, base for the launch and repair of other vessels, while also providing support and tactical superiority. This ship is for the Dominion captains uh, only initially. It will be outfitted with a Tier 6 ship, Starship Mastery Unlock, which enables the use of other characters to your account once obtained. So, uh, that is coming in with the, uh, the, uh, the Vanguard pack. So that's the $130 one. So if you do get it, you'll get this, uh, these ships here. And that is it for today's video. And as always, this is the start of a discussion. Are you guys excited for the Agony Phaser Torpedo? or And are you uh, excited for this new reputation system? Or are you guys excited for these new ships to come in? Let me know your answers and any questions you have down in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. With recent changes to YouTube's monetization policy, I would like to ask that you please consider supporting this channel through Patreon. As thanks, Patreon members will get early notifications of upcoming ship reviews, access to the Discord, and other rewards. Support tiers start as low as $1 a month. Check the link in the description below. Thank you. If you are not a member of this community, press subscribe. I make videos on Star Trek, reviews, commentaries, and gaming just like this video. Links to social media are down below. And as always, thank you for watching, live long and prosper, and we'll see you out there.